Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. So in this one I'm gonna cover how I lighted this environment. This project is a remake of a game called Inside which I tried to replicate and if you're interested in knowing how I've done it you can click this link and watch the video here. In this one we are going to talk about the lighting setup and see how we can go from this to this. I am keeping everything simple and I'm not going to do anything complicated for my lighting setup and by the end of this video you will be able to light your scenes like this easily. So let's jump right in and get started. These are all the light actors I'm using in my scene and I'm gonna delete them all and start from scratch to show you the whole process and see how easy it is to achieve this result in a very short period of time. This here is just a light material used for the car lights and other than that you can see there are no light sources in the scene and you're ready to go. A common way to start your lighting is to add some natural light sources and start playing with them until you get the result you like. This usually goes with a directional light, a skylight, a sky atmosphere and a height fog and then you start tweaking them to have a base for your lighting setup. After that you can add your artificial lights and enhance the quality of your lighting. But in this project I'm not going to do that and I'm going to approach the lighting process a little differently. Since this is going to be a moody and foggy night setup, the height fog will have an essential role and will give us all we need for our base and then in the next stage we will start fake lighting and finish the job. So here I'm only adding a height fog and a post process volume and I'm good to go. For the post process volume you can scale it up to cover your whole scene or you can just search for infinite in the details tab and check this box here. It means that it will cover your whole scene regardless of the boundaries of the post-process volume. Next, let's go to the exposure tab and put the metering mode on manual and set the exposure compensation to 16.5 and now we are ready to go. Alright, now let's go to the exponential height fog settings and the first thing we are going to do is to check volumetric fog. Now we can give it an emissive value and now you can see that we have our first light source from the fog itself. It's already looking great but you can play with the settings as much as you like to achieve the best possible result for your scene. For instance, let's introduce a little bit of bluish color and again play with the value to make it look even better. The slider here is very sensitive and it's impossible to have enough control over so it's better to work with the numbers here and define the values this way. Sometimes it doesn't get updated immediately and you have to move a little in your level to make the new settings work. Okay, let's go with these values here for now and go to the other settings in the fog actor. Here you have fog density which is quite important. And here you have height falloff which enables you to control the height of the fog. Then you have in scattering color which can give you very beautiful looks but I don't want to use it in this project since I want to keep the dark and heavy mood. There is a lot more to play with but I think it's enough for now and what we already have is looking good enough. We are ready to go to the next stage of our lighting which is adding fake lights to the scene. What we want to do here is to make different parts of the environment pop up in a way that we have complete control over them. Let's start by the beginning of the level and add a rectangle light here. Here you can play with the settings and make it look like it belongs to the scene. Be careful not to overdo anything, otherwise it will look unnatural and mess up the whole project. I want to have more light on my character along the road to have more emphasis on him. So I'm gonna make a big rectangle light here and place it this way. Also let's add some spotlights for our car to make it look better and be able to see the rays of the lights in the fog. Here in the settings you have volumetric scattering intensity and if you want to control how the light rays look in the fog you can just play with these values and achieve exactly what you are looking for. 
let's make it a little yellowish and duplicate it for the other car light. I'm gonna do the same for the backlights with a very low temperature to make them red and also I'm gonna add a point light inside the car as well. I'm gonna shut down the volumetric scattering to prevent this here and also let's decrease the intensity and move on. The rest is just repeating the same process and adding light wherever you see fit. I added a rectangle light here behind the door to get this light rays coming out of the factory. And I also added some spotlights to my ceiling lights like I did with the car. For the final step, I'm gonna add some post-process effects and color grading. Let's add a little bloom here and then let's add some chromatic aberration. Again, keep in mind that you have to keep everything subtle, otherwise the final result will be sketchy and won't look good at all. Okay, now let's open the global tab and increase the contrast a little. There is a lot here to play with and by just tweaking these settings, you can achieve completely different moods for your scene. The last thing I added to the scene were these fog sheets. They are just simple planes with a material which is a moving opacity mask and they replicate the fog effect. If you are interested in knowing more about them, please leave a comment below and I will cover them in a separate video. Yeah, and that's all I did for the lighting of this project and this is my final result. Of course you can spend more time and try adding more lights with different settings to see all the possibilities you have using these simple and easy to use light actors. If you want to learn more about other parts of this project such as the enemy AIs and mechanics, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you won't miss upcoming videos on those topics. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.